Music really is universal, and although we all come from different backgrounds and cultures, one thing is the same, and that is the passion. So I'm going to bring you five string instruments with a unique design and the musicians that play them right here on YouTube. Number one, the Chapman Stick. This is an electric instrument with eight, 10, or 12 strings that can be played by using both hands to produce a wide range of sounds. It has a distinctive minimalist design and it is often used in progressive rock, jazz, and experimental music. The Chapman Stick was invented by Emmett Chapman in the late 1960s. He wanted to create an instrument that allowed him to play both the bass and melody lines simultaneously. The technique of playing the Chapman Stick is by tapping or hammering the strings with both hands, allowing the player to produce intricate polyphonic sounds. This technique is known as free hands, and it is one of the most defining characteristics of this instrument. Comparable to the piano, it offers a wide range of tones and different versions of the instrument has been created, including the stick guitar, stick bass, and the grand stick. These variations cater to the specific musical needs and can produce both melodic and percussive sounds. And because it has the ability to cover bass, guitar, and keyboard parts at the same time, makes it a versatile instrument. The Chapman Stick has gained wider recognition after being showcased at the Nam Show in 1974. Number 2. The Hardanger Fiddle This is a traditional Norwegian instrument that belongs to the violin family. The unique thing about this instrument is that it has nine tuning pegs, it has four main strings, and then it has four or five sympathetic strings that run under the fingerboard. These strings are used to resonate the sound, and when tuned properly, they can be heard along with the other strings. It has a distinctive scroll, and it is often decorated with intricate carvings. This instrument originated in the region of Hardanger in southwestern Norway during the 17th century, and it has since become an iconic symbol of Norwegian folk music. The oldest instrument can date back to 1651. The Hardanger fiddle is played using a bow, and similar to the violin, but it has a slightly different technique. The player uses the rhythmic and syncopated style of bowing to bring out the instrument's characteristics, rhythms, and orientation. The fiddle has been historically associated with Hangdanger region and its cultural heritage, where it is played at weddings, celebrations, and community gatherings. Today, this instrument is celebrated as an important part of the Norway's cultural heritage, and it is taught and performed by musicians worldwide. Number 3. The Pipa this is a four-string Chinese musical instrument belonging to the pluck category of instruments. It has a pear-shaped wooden body with a curved neck and traditionally 30 frets. It has a long, thick neck and the frets are movable to allow a wide range of tones. It was made of bamboo but was played with a plectrum, but over time the instrument evolved and gained more strings with the four-string version becoming the most popular. The history dates back for 2,000 years and it has been an important instrument in Chinese music for centuries. It was played with the fingers and the player can produce a wide variety of sounds from delicate melodies to fast complex rhythms. It was often used in traditional Chinese music ensembles but also has been used in contemporary music dramas including rock and jazz. Famous piper players including Wu Man, Li Fang, and Guo Hong. The Theorbo. This is a large pluck string instrument that originated in Italy during the late 16th century. It was developed from the lute, but it has a longer neck and an additional set of bass strings. The instrument was designed to be used primarily to accompany solo vocal music. During the Baroque era, the Theorbo gained popularity throughout Europe and was used extensively in opera, 
oratorial and chamber music. It was particularly favored by composers such as Monteverdi, Handel, and Bach, who wrote music specifically for the instrument. In the 18th century, the theora bow gradually fell out of favor as other instruments became more prominent. However, it saw a revival in the 20th century thanks to the efforts of composers and performers who recognized its unique sound and expressive capabilities. The theora bow continues to be used in both historically informed performances of Baroque music and contemporary compositions. The English Sittern. This is a string instrument that was popular in the Renaissance and Baroque eras. It kind of looks like a lute but has a flat back instead of a rounded one. It has a pear-shaped body and usually has four courses of strings. The origin of this English instrument can be traced back to the 16th century when it was first introduced to England from Italy. It quickly gained popularity amongst musicians and became the staple of the English music scene. During the Elizabeth era, it often was played with the lute and vocal music, and it was also played in instrumental ensembles where it provided a bright rhythmic texture. In the 17th century, it underwent some changes, which was a shift from four to five course designs, but these modifications allowed for a greater range of notes and more resonant sound. And although it was popular in the earlier periods, it fell out of favor in the 18th century, and it was largely replaced by instruments like the guitar. But today, it's gaining popularity amongst musicians and enthusiasts of earlier music. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe, follow, and smash touch hit that like button. Go ahead, smash touch and hit it.